What up guys, my name is Chris and welcome to The Wheelhouse. Thought I would just do a general overview um, of the markets, a little bit of what's going on. Obviously, um, we know and I have mentioned in multiple videos that come Thursday, expect a, a sell-off. Um, you know, people are always nervous about uh, CPI reports. Um, you know, I'm sure most people, including myself, think that it is um, going to at least be the same, if not higher. And, um, you know, when the Fed speaks, it rattles markets, especially um, if it has anything to do with rate hikes. Um, and as I mentioned in a previous video, um, you know, they're, they're meeting uh, with the board and um, to accelerate the taper uh, before the summer, actually accelerating it to end in the spring of 22 and then they would have the leeway to raise rates anytime thereafter. So they're they're already kind of planting the seed with everybody. And everybody's tentative and um, you know nervous about that because historically when interest rates are hiked, um, the markets definitely get rattled, they fall, uh, tech um, will, will suffer. I've mentioned that multiple times. Um, so this was expected. Uh, to kind of, you know, see a sell-off on Thursday and depending what happens Friday morning, uh, 8.30 a.m., the CPI report is released. I'm not expecting um, the markets to take it well, but, you know, the markets have surprised me many, many, many times. Um, and, and uh, you know, it's it's hitting the stock market. It's hitting the crypto markets. Uh, we did have a very good week. I'm, I'm up myself a lot on the week and just barely down a tiny bit today. Not bad. Um, I got in and I took profits and I, and I saw this coming, so I moved a lot to the side. You know, you have Bloomberg here writing, inflation near 40 year high, shocks Americans and spooks Washington. Yeah, inflation is sticky, it's not transitory. It tends to stay for a long time once it gets up this high. It is uh, gonna affect people's finances. Um, you know, their purchasing power is going to be less and prices will be higher, therefore um, their dollar goes not as long um, does it spend as, as you don't get as much for your dollar basically due to inflation okay um, <clears throat> they are looking for a single shot to defeat omicron oh this is a big one right here u.s jobless claims dropped to lowest level since 1969 um you know basically what that means is like the applications to you know for from people trying to get work um is lower and uh you know, um, they're saying that, you know, it might take some some time for the data to settle after the holiday related swings, which could be true. There could be a reason for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, people are not really going back to work. Maybe it's fears of the variant. Maybe they have found ways to work from home. Uh, you know, there's there's just a lot of uncertainty as usual going on. Um, you got inflation, you got rate hikes, you got sector rotations, you have... Um, you know, the new year coming, uh, you have, uh, you know, people doing their tax loss harvesting. Of course, that happens every time around this time of year. It's very, very normal. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, the Labor Department came out and, and, you know, they had a lot less employment claims. And it's kind of a, kind of, you know, a little startling, I suppose, to the markets. You got that with inflation, the rate hikes, and it just gets a little crazy. So the World Health Organization says Omicron variant could change the course of the COVID pandemic. Um, the health organization said the highly mutated Omicron variant of COVID-19 could change the course of the pandemic. The director general said the exact impact is still difficult to know, noting that questions about the transmissibility and severity of Omicron remain unanswered. Okay, a more uncertainty. And they're, they're, they're trying to figure it out. I mean, this stuff doesn't, I mean, they, it, they can't figure it out immediately, okay? It's gonna take some time to test it and understand um, the sequence and, and you know, how to, how to fight it. And, you know, they gotta check with the, the um, companies that made the vaccines and, you know, there's gonna be some testing and some things like that. And, you know, even coming down to symptoms, um, you know, and cases and, you know, fatalities and, you know, exposures and uh, rates and, and, you know, how, how transmittable it is. And, you know, there's just a lot of unknowns that is being figured out as we go. So I'm trying to keep you abreast of it and kind of, you know, touching on it a little bit, you know, every other video or so just to kind of briefly, you know, let you know what's going on. 
Um, per preliminary evidence from South Africa may suggest that Omicron may be milder than the Delta strain, so that's really good. Um, but the World Health Organization official said it's a little too early to conclude that fact, you know. And so, um, yeah, I mean, let's take a look at what Dr. Gottlieb uh, has to say on the Omicron variant. Um, I'll enlarge it, and let's just take a look at that real quick, and then we'll come back. Um, we'll look at uh, some charts, um, some plays, some sector rotations, what to expect before, uh, you know, the CPI and... Uh, We'll take a look at some of those courses if you're interested and kind of show you what's in there and you know what you get as well okay we now have three data points that have come out in the last 24 hours in addition to the pfizer data there was two other neutralization studies one out of south africa one of the karolinska institute which both showed a significant reduction in neutralization after two doses of vaccine but they both also showed that people who were infected and then subsequently vaccinated with two doses had a pretty robust response against omicron and that should that so-called hybrid immunity yeah, situations where people are infected and subsequently get vaccinated with two doses, we know that that is a good correlate for the uh, behavior of three doses. So that should be another data point that suggests that a three-dose vaccine, a properly boosted vaccine, should be protective in these settings. And so I think you now have three data points that suggest that, including the Pfizer data. We'll see other studies come out. Some won't look as good. There's a lot, there'll be a lot of variability between these neutralization studies. But I think the balance of the evidence right now is pointing in an optimistic direction. So yeah, uh, if you've had the vaccine, um, you've had the whole sequence, you know, all three, you know, including the booster, um, you know, he's saying that there's defenses against the Omicron. Um, you know, there's a lot of positivity on the data points. Uh, they're expecting more information to come out. Um, let's move on and take a look at um, the next thing. I'm gonna go through um, some charts, take a look at some things, you know, I, like I've been saying, I don't even know how many videos, but I've been saying it in many, many videos. You know, when rate hikes go up, you should be looking at things like the visas and the Goldman Sachs and, you know, um, you know your financials, you know, with, with the COVID, you know, healthcare, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll start to start doing better. Of course, the construction, you know, sand, gravel, copper, asphalt, uh, lumber, um, heavy machinery, farming equipment, you know, for the infrastructure play. Of course, things like some of the electric vehicle um, stuff you can look at, um, you know, carefully. You kind of want to diversify, um, but be in the right sectors and you want to be careful. You don't want to over position size. You want to have a maximum loss pain point of 8% with stop losses. Um, you definitely want to be in the right sectors and you want to, uh, you know, kind of trade with the trend and, and um, you want to just really make smart decisions going into 2022 because it's getting tougher and tougher. And um, you need to have multiple strategies, which I teach you, uh, for different types of market environments. So like when it's really volatile, you'll, you'll kind of do things a certain way. And when it's a long bull run, you'll, you'll loosen up and you'll, you'll kind of do classic swing trades with classic stops and maybe something like that. Um, dollar cost averaging is really good for investing. And, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of different things depending on the temperature of the markets and, um, you know, right now there's just a lot of uncertainty and um, if you haven't been in the markets long, there's, there usually is, there's always something going on. And what really moves markets is, is the Fed. You know, they can make things go up a lot. They can make things go down a lot. Um, you know, when it comes to stocks, um, you know, the core of every stock is, is about an earnings acceleration or earnings deceleration as well as revenue and guidance. Those are, those are really, really big deals. They're called surprises, whether they're positive or negative and they can move a stock. Um, depending on how how much of an increase or a beat or a guidance or surprise that there is and the opposite for a negative it can drop a stock really fast things do go down four times faster when they drop so you know you want to learn how to spot that read those reports be prepared in your watch list have your stops compartmentalize with position sizing I teach you all this stuff and uh, last night we had a wheelhouse Wednesdays with uh, all the Padawans and all the Jedi's and I taught um, everybody a specific technique that um, is for compounding and I let them actually choose um, any any pick that they want and they chose a stock and I went through it for uh, six months and I showed them a technique if they did it the specific way that I do it then the technique during that six months on the stock that they picked with small starting with a small amount of money ended up making them 444 percent on their money in just six months on a stock they picked. 
I pulled up the chart on what they, they asked for and did it. And you can do that on crypto, you can do that on stocks. So when you're like, oh, 100% is a lot of money or 7% is what they get. No, you have to have a process, a protocol. You have to have a certain way, a, a strict, disciplined way of doing things. And I teach you that and I know, I know how to do that. Um, it keeps you safe. You skip a ton of the bad times. You capitalize on the good times and you compound your money. Um, and, and you do it in a way that is, is really safe. I'm big on safety because there's a lot of risk in the market. So, you know, uh, a lot of things I teach you is not just about getting in at the bottom, you know, dollar. It's about verifying and validating and confirming that you have, you know, you're in the uptrend, you, you're, you're above a 200, you're, you know, you're above certain EMAs, like you've, you know, you're in the right sector, you're leading, um, you know, you're looking to scale in after a base breakout, things like this. And, and uh, you know, these guys are starting to learn a lot and starting to do really well. And, and even though the markets are up really high and then they're down, um, you know, they're starting to spot how to get out, starting to spot when to get in and they're starting to navigate and they're starting to make money. And, and uh, all I hear is how grateful people are and um, how happy they are that they've met me and how excited they are for the new year and to do the new uh, compounding challenge that we're doing in the Discord. So just click the Discord link. It's free and come in. You can meet everybody, talk to everybody. If you want to upgrade and get my trade alerts, have the one-on-one -on -one coaching, do the Wheelhouse Wednesdays and get the courses, you can upgrade to Jedi. If you want just the alerts and the Wheelhouse Wednesday group trainings, you could upgrade to Padawan. Super inexpensive for what you get. Actually, people are mind blown at how inexpensive it is for the value of, of everything that you learn. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm hearing things like, Man, I've done seven courses. I can't lose any more money. And I didn't learn nearly what I learned in seven courses and investing all this money in these courses from different, you know, big companies and, and big websites out there, as well as like YouTube ones. And, and they learned, you know, far more in just one month from my courses. And they say it makes sense. It's easily explained. Um, it just, you know, it's working for people. And I'm really happy to hear that. And I'd love to have you in there as well. And um, I'd love to meet you. And if you have problems, you want to look at your portfolio, you know, you can tell me what's going on and I can look at the problem, find the solution. We can curb that right away and turn it around for you, especially coming into the new year and get you a good fresh start. And, um, you know, speaking of that, just, you know, if you're losing money and you don't really understand why certain things uh, move the way they, they do in the markets and reaction points and you know, how to enter and how to exit and technical analysis and understanding what moves markets from core fundamentals to, you know, even stuff like breakouts and leaders versus laggards and sector rotations and, you know, what, how to, how to kind of spot trouble, market tops, market bottoms, you know, rotations like that. Um, you know, click that discord link. Okay. I can do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you. Just go click the discord link, go to frequently asked questions. You can upgrade to Jedi. You'll have my alerts. You'll be with all the other Jedi's. Um, they're doing so good. They're charting. They're finding stuff. They're learning the ways that I do things. Um, I teach you a system on how to compound, um, how to compartmentalize, how to protect money, how to use stops, how to position size, winning strategies with high probability, low risk. Uh, that's what stocks and investing and trading and crypto and stocks is about. It's about risk and probability. And you could reduce risk and have better odds or chances or a higher probability with knowledge and um, and then using technical analysis on top of, of everything else. Um, and just know how to how to manage your trades as well as navigate the markets. Um, you start to not only make money, but hold on to your money. And, and that essentially helps it grow. You only need to be in the market so many times per year. There's usually three really good runs a year and then there's some some, you know, areas like the summer, as an example, or like, you know, maybe like this last part of November, early December, these, these things happen. It's very natural. It's very common, but you can avoid that. You can kind of get in when the trend is right, uh, be in the right sectors, find the leaders, kind of capitalize on that. You see it kind of topping out. You can move it to the side, protect it, kind of skip all the bad stuff for most of it, at least. And then when it, when it turns and I'll show you how to do that, you can jump back in, you can capitalize on again and you kind of just kind of pivot through the markets like that through the year and you can make a lot of money in crypto and stocks if you know how to do that and i can teach you and so if you become a jedi um, not only will you be with all the other jedis and you'll have all the areas in the discord but you'll also have one-on-one -on -one coaching with me you get 10 hours of that and you get all the courses and the courses are very thorough 
so many courses. It's so cool. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to actually show you, um, the courses so just real quick, just so you guys can see. And again, the discord link is just in the description of this video. You can just click it. You can get in there for free. Uh, if you want to upgrade, just go to the frequently asked questions. Um, there's a, a link called subscription and you can choose from there. But look, this is just a couple guys, uh, that are talking in the crypto chat. Um, they're talking about, you know, the courses because somebody's asking and, um, about it and interested in joining. Um, it's really important to have a leader to prevent our emotions from a lack of experience to get in the way. Um, look, I just want to share something for you and for anyone seeing to consider while you're thinking about joining because I get where you're at. I mean, I work full time. I have a web design agency, three kids. I'm pretty busy. The small amount of time I have, I, I trade. Having Chris teach me all the strategies, showing me what indicators to use, how to set them up, and what to look for before entering a trade has helped me a lot. Um, so now when I do have time to trade, I'm confident that I win. 12.59%, percent 20.03%, 10.03%, 12.5%, 10.64%. Um, literally all because Chris showed me the way. Um, Here's another person. The lessons are clear and unlike YouTube, you can ask your questions and actually have them answered. Another person wrote, it is worth it, bro. This is the only course that I took that made a lot of sense to me. You are basically paying for nothing uh, or paying, sorry, paying nothing for everything that you get on the Jedi Gold and having an experienced mentor and community on your trading journey is really important. And I mean, you know, people are telling me this constantly. They're saying um, this guy from Germany, He's taken a whole bunch of courses and he was like, I can't believe how inexpensive this is for how much knowledge you're giving. Remember, I've been in the markets a long, long time. Um, I was retired. Before that, I was a CEO of three different global companies, built massive empires. Uh, I was a CIO of an investment firm. Um, I, you know, I'm a finance guy, I have a degree in business finance. I'm very into economics. It's kind of what I do. Um, you know, just take a look at maybe some of the alerts here. Um, you know, yesterday, uh, so yesterday, um, before the market opened and yesterday was a, a, a good day. And I had said, look guys, I'm looking at Airbnb, Air, Beyond Meat, DraftKings, Tesla, and Affirm. Um, all of those went up big yesterday. Um, I didn't buy them all, but the ones that I did buy, Affirm, um, bought it low when it was red. Uh, went up nine dollars and then I had everybody sell it. We captured that game, you know, letting people know, hey, big breakout here, raise stops, um, you know, Airbnb, Visa, picked up Visa, had them raise the stop. Everybody's in the profit, went over the jolts report, a firm uh, raising stops, um, letting everybody know, hey, look, guys, stick in there. Neil has a blue doji uh, forming um, on the daily. Um, which is a very bullish signal, especially when it lies perfectly on a previous support, giving an 85% chance of continuing to climb. I'm really good with probabilities and numbers. Uh, we grabbed Disney on the pivot. Everybody's up. Crocs are up, uh, even though Crocs are a little bit down today while I'm filming. But it's a leader. It's got a 98% uh, RS rating. Um, it outperforms 98% of all the stocks in the stock market. It's going to be just fine. I mean, it it's like a, looks like Microsoft on the chart. It just goes up. Um, DraftKings and beyond said, look, I'm watching closely for a pivot. You know, they went up big yesterday. Um, same with CRISPR and pins. Um, you know, just letting people know I'm keeping an eye on things. Microsoft, you know, raising stops. I had them, uh, raise again, a firm Tesla, you know, I had people, I, you know, here's the sell alert for a firm and here's some, some stops being raised. Um, there's all the different chat areas and everybody's real cool. Um, you know, in, in the courses, you have reference material. This has a whole bunch of books and PDFs and, um, you know, from financial management, futures, Forex, hedge fund stuff, long-term investing, margin trading, master tradings, uh, trading collection, options trading. I mean, there's just, you want to learn binary, you want to learn cover calls, um, you know, you want to start fast option trading in seven days, writing naked puts, you know, I mean, um, you know, all, just all strategies, all kinds of stuff in there. And then, um, you know, as you, you go through, you, you set up your trading platform, all the indicators, and I go through every button, how to set it up, every single thing about every single thing I go through in detail, how to, how to you know, do that. 
Um, it's very thorough. You have the, the trading view set up. You have all the different indicators. There's multiple videos in all the folders too. Um, it's not, you know, something where I spend 10 hours on. I actually work 18 hours a day from, you know, trading, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, we do the wheelhouse Wednesdays, Wednesdays, the group trainings. I do the YouTube stuff and um, I'm working on these courses and I'm literally dedicating so much time um, to giving you guys just the full experience so that your trading and investing journey are taken to not just the next level, but, you know, 20, 30 levels up to a highly, highly pro level and efficient to make money and then hold on to your money and to pivot correctly. And, and I understand all the different trading styles, whether it's long term, um, you know, and you will, you know, you don't hold forever. If you're going to go long term, you want to pick up a certain way. You want to enter um, a specific way. And you want to exit a specific way. And that might take, you know, hopefully if you hit it right and it's a three long, three year long bull run, that's wonderful. You got the whole move, right? But you don't want to hold forever just because the four market phases, all cryptos and all stocks, they'll go up, they'll accumulate, they'll participate, they'll distribute, and then they'll, they'll come down. You know, like you saw Babas and CRISPRs and, you know, uh, DraftKings and different things, they come down. That's just very natural. That's the fourth market phase. And I teach you about all that. And, um, you know, if you were to hold forever, and you bought like Microsoft and Intel at the, you know, right before the dot com crash, which went down to 80%, it would have taken you 10 years to get one third of your money back of the cost of the shares of Microsoft and Intel. So the, the, the value of the shares were, were, you know, way up here and 10 years later after holding forever would have been one third of that value. Same thing in 1929, if you would have held it would have taken you 25 years to get back to even and so you know we want to show you how to enter we want to show you how to exit we want to show you how to get the meat of the move we want to show you how to graduate your stops and and protect your capital and position size properly and i teach you all that stuff i teach you all my indicators um the sources i use how to hunt you know how how to filter everything um to get the best stocks um, that are about to go up how to set up your watch lists that are highly detailed so you have all these different watch lists with different things going on and they qualify down until they get to a certain one and then you have the best of the best in there and then those go up how to set your alerts you know approaching my stop loss approaching support um, approaching a breakout or a rejection you know you have those going off watching your macros super critical market phases trading with the trend eight essential tips fundamentals i got a lot of stuff in there blended earnings sectors, identifying leaders, laws of charting, how to spot market tops and bottoms, how to short a market, candlesticks, formations, more formations, supports, resistances, chart patterns, reversal patterns, trend lines, saucers and spikes, um, reverse islands, continuation patterns, price gaps, key reversal day, moving averages, trading, declines, position sizing, trade management, trading psychology. Now I'm gonna put about 25 more folders in here. And again, they all have multiple videos, um, you know, so that kind of kind of shows you and it's very thorough. And again, you get the one-on-one. -on -one. So if you wanna invest in your future, you wanna stop losing money, you wanna do the compound challenge. And literally, if you could learn how to enter before it all goes up and exit before it all goes down and you could compound a certain way and you could take 10 grand and over time, turn it to a million dollars, you could start learning how to make so much money doing it with a system instead of losing money and just picking something and holding and buying the dip and just doing everything incorrectly. This is a really good opportunity. I'm literally tapping you on the shoulder and giving you an opportunity to um, succeed and, and have um, a new financial freedom if that's what you're looking for. And um, you're in a community with good people and I will coach you and um, again, I was retired. I'm just kind of doing this out of kindness of my heart to kind of, I see that people need help and I, I like to kind of get it out there before I stop doing this. Um, you know, but for now, this is what I'm doing and I'm trying to help people. So let's take a look at some charts and kind of just see what is going on out there. Um, looks like, uh, Tesla has gotten wrecked. It's down almost 52 bucks today. Um, I had mentioned that we were making lower highs. It kind of needed to make a decision. It wasn't quite bullish on all the, the um, indicators. Volume is dropping off. Um, again, you got your Visa, um, you know, hit that pivot. We bought it, had a breakout. Um, it's just doing really, really good. Um, Disney's doing good. Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, those are doing good. Facebook's doing really good. Um, it's kind of coming back from, from a slippery slope. It kind of went through all this. 
bounced off the 200, fell below the 200, kind of where I bought it, came back above it, retested it, bought more, was looking pretty good. I thought the ribbons were going to go blue, and then we had that little um, shakeout uh, in early December, and it kind of fell through, and it actually uh, got its floor and came up above a resistance, another resistance, and then um, kind of bounced off that support, and it's heading up, and it's, it's starting to make that cloud go blue, and it's definitely bullish on the indicator, so looking good. Um, most stuff and most lists, you know, including even crypto, we should talk about crypto. Um, you know, crypto is not looking overly exciting right now. Um, I stashed Bitcoin in here because it was so hard to find. Um, yeah, here's the deal kind of on Bitcoin. Um, I'll be honest, it's just not looking very good. I have a theory of what I think might happen. It, here's the thing with Bitcoin. It's kind of like because it's highly manipulated, I just feel that a lot of times, um, you know, what you think is going to happen, hey, we're going to the moon. So they'll say, hey, let's make an all time new high and then short it, create stops and then create panic and you get your red ribbons, you get this, you come out of a pattern, you create a bear flag and boom, you drop and, you know, it could drop to 39,851. And by that time, everybody is so scared of Bitcoin, they don't want to get in. And then they'll close their shorts, cover and buy up all the liquidity, all the Bitcoin and run it up. That could happen. I mean, this was making higher lows. Okay. I thought it was going to run up in this ascending pattern, you know, but you know, things change rapidly in the markets. So that's why technical analysis is good. And if this happens, you're prepared to do this. If that happens, you're prepared to do that, you know? And so right now, technically Bitcoin's not looking too happy. Um, Ethereum was holding up, Matic was holding up some good things like that. But even I noticed Ethereum today is dropping a little bit. Does that change my perspective on Ethereum for long term? Not one bit, not whatsoever. I mean, I think Ethereum is, I thought I put it in here. Maybe I, maybe I didn't. I keep switching watch lists because I just keep filling them up so fast. Let me just look and see what's going on with Ethereum real quick. Yeah, it's come down a little bit. It's at 41.44. Um, Still looking kind of bullish on the indicators. It really flirts with these two boxes. These are, you know, here's like kind of a liquidity zone. This is a sticky area where it goes up. It comes back down in it. Comes up, tests it. it comes up in it. Comes back down. Comes up in it. Above it. Back in it. Back below it. Tests. It. I mean, it's just it's just this little sticky area. Um, I'm, I'm not really looking to buy this stuff until I get a real good confirmation um, of the direction. Right now, it appears that it's going sideways. Um, I don't really like sideways myself, so just kind of waiting. But, you know, until Bitcoin kind of decides to which way it's going, and right now it's it's kind of, you know, it's hovering, it's holding, um, but it's, it's, not, it's not falling hard, but it's not going up and making progress either. So I think until that makes a decision, you're going to notice that a lot of these cryptos are going to be you know, kind of low and there's some really good ones out there that you can buy um, long term and then there's ones that you can swing like and there's ones you can swing and do long term like Solana would be a good long term, but you can swing it with big moves. I like Chainlink a lot. I think Chainlink is a very good protocol uh, Oracle and it's used for a lot of things and it's going to be around uh, forever. I think it's really good. You know, I love Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are good times, even though they're low. Um, that's good. You can accumulate, you can dollar cost average, you can do that kind of stuff. Um, build your portfolio for the long term, you know, if you have a long term perspective. So, um, yeah, we'll just gotta, you just gotta wait and see what happens right now. All markets are a little tentative with the fed speaking, the Omicron, and you know, we had a really nice rally, made a bunch of money Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So just let it ride out. You know, like I always say, get in on momentum technically grab your profits you know nothing goes up you know five days in a row that happens once twice a year you know it doesn't so you know expecting it to go up four days in a row is is also highly unlikely three days is is typically a good week when you have three green two bad so we got three um you know having two red is probably pretty natural that's kind of middle of the road but on the on the bullish side um when you have three red two green that's middle of the road on the bearish side. So we had a bunch of those and then we kind of moved to the three green and, you know, you just got to pay attention to that stuff. But look, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll keep you in the loop on different uh, things going on with crypto and stocks right now, financials some healthcare is not a bad thing. That infrastructure stuff, pay attention to that. Um, 
you know, kind of don't overdo it on any one thing, kind of, kind of, you know, break it into 10 parts or, or even 20 parts and just kind of position size with maximum loss of maybe 8% or less, 6 to 8% and kind of protect yourself. Remember, if you do, you know, 10 different things at 10% and your max is eight, like if you got 10 grand and you put a thousand in 10 different things and your max loss is 8%, the most you can lose is 800 bucks. Worst case scenario, if they all fell, so you still have 11,200 to work with, right? Numbers can be expanded based on your budget, but um, that's how you can not blow up your account. You can survive to fight another day and uh, there will be more to trade. There will be good days. Believe me, they come and when they come, they come big and they, they start rallies and eventually um, everything on the macros will choose a direction and um, you know, we will be in the right sector and we will navigate it and we will do a good job and we'll make some money. And uh, again, jump in that discord link and sub subscribe if you haven't like the video and select all. And thank you for watching. Welcome to the wheelhouse.